Hi everybody, Miss Olivent here. I thought I'd read you one of my favourite stories today. Can you see what it's all about? Rumble in the jungle. All about the different animals. Let's see. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippo's at the waterhole. The leopard's in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. Oh, I can see some very sharp teeth and some claws. A stripy tail. A long trunk. Let's take a look. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. <gasps> the lion. The lion's the king of the jungle. Just listen how loudly he roars. Every animal quivers and shudders and shivers. As soon as he opens his jaws. <gasps> Look at those teeth. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elephing around. <gasps> Look, a stripy zebra. I could have been grey like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes, as they make me look handsome and cool. They're kissing, aren't they? <gasps> the, blo the boa constrictor's a slippery snake who slithers and slides round his tree. And when tasty animals wander too close, he squashes them slowly for tea. You see this really tall neck on this giraffe? Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by a cloud. The Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun to get hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. <gasps> snap, snap, snap. Now, oh, there are those sharp teeth now. The crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. Rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch and that makes him terribly happy. You see his big horn there and he's munching on a flower. And those horns that we saw, that's the gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky and I'm awfully pretty as well. <gasps> the gorilla, ooh. The gorilla is big, black and hairy and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his great giant chest. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's night time now. It's dark. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. Beware of a t terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, 
but his eyes shine like lights through the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vulture circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. Good night to all the animals in the jungle. That was a lovely story. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. I like to practice making the different animal noises. See you soon. <laughs>